My name is Charles Tran with The Novice Builder. In today's video, we're diving into the essential process of installing hurricane straps, also known as hurricane ties. These metal connectors play a crucial role in reinforcing the connection between your roof trusses and wall plates, providing added protection against strong winds and storms. Let's get started. Before we begin, ensure you have the following tools and materials. Hammer or nail gun, drill or driver, tape measure, pencil, marker or chalk line, level and ladder. Materials, Simpson Strong Tie or H1, Simpson Strong Tie or H2.5A, Simpson Strong Tie or H2.5T, and galvanized nails or structural screw. Before starting, safety first. Wear your protective gear, check your tools, and clear the workspace. Part 1. Understanding Hurricane Straps Hurricane straps are metal connectors designed to secure the roof structure to the walls of a building. They help prevent the roof from lifting off during high winds by creating a continuous load path from the roof to the foundation. There are different types of hurricane straps, including H1, H2.5A, and H2.5T, each suited for specific applications. These straps are typically made of galvanized steel to resist corrosion. Part 2. Installation Steps Step 1. Identify connection points. Start by locating where the roof trusses meet the top plates of your wall framing. These are the key structural joints that need to be reinforced with hurricane straps. To make this super clear, I'll walk you through the four key connection points using diagrams and real footage from my installation site. 1. Roof to top plate connections. This is the topmost connection located in the attic or just under the roof sheathing. It ties the roof trusses or rafters to the top plate of the upper walls. Here, I'm using Simpson Strong Tie H2.5A. Two, second floor wall to floor joist connections. At the base of the second floor walls, we need to tie the wall studs into the floor system below. Three, first floor wall to foundation sill plate connections. This connection is where the first floor framing meets the foundation, a super important point to secure the whole structure. In my case, I installed hurricane straps at every connection point in the framing. I made sure each strap was aligned in a straight linear direction to maximize strength and structural integrity. Ensure that this plate line is installed at or above the bottom of the rafter to prevent interference when installing the ceiling. Important! Make sure to install these straps before the ceiling drywall is installed. Once drywall is up, access to these joints will be blocked, making it difficult or impossible to secure the straps properly. Step 2. Position the strap. Place the hurricane strap so that it connects the truss to the top plate. Ensure it's flush against both surfaces for maximum effectiveness. Step three, secure the strap. Using galvanized nails or structural screws, fasten the strap to both the truss and the top plate. Make sure to use all the designated holes in the strap for optimal strength. Step four, repeat the process. Continue this process for each truss to wall connection throughout the structure. Consistency is key to ensuring the entire roof is adequately secured. This is critical. Truss plates are metal connectors with sharp embedded teeth designed to join wood members in roof and floor trusses. Once pressed into the wood, they form powerful joints that resist movement and carry significant structural loads. Truss plates aren't just connectors. They're key to the strength, stability, and safety of every truss system. Remember, proper installation of hurricane straps is vital for the structural integrity of your home, especially in areas prone to high winds. 
That's it for our tutorial on installing hurricane straps. If you have tips to share, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to learn from you. And be sure to check out the links in the description below to watch my complete construction playlist, or by subscribing to my channel, you'll gain access to all my in-depth tutorials, DIY projects, and step-by-step -step guides. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out my upcoming project and videos.